on inflation, do you think the Fed has maybe at least one hike left if, if this inflation print this week is on the higher end? And if, it, if they do have one more left, I mean, is that, is that it? Probably definitely going to be near the peak, okay. definitely, if we're not already there. Mm. And uh, for November, definitely, like you say, we're going to pay attention to the Friday data. Mm. And right now, market consensus is around month-on-month -month increase, 0.2% on the core CPI. That's right. And uh, if it's surprise on the upside, uh, probably like 0.4%, that might be a higher chance of another hike. But given the Fed speaks lately, it seems like the recent hike in Treasury yields have Su suggested that there might be even closer to right. the peak already. Well, is it is it time finally to not just lock in these yields, move up in duration, and obviously, as you would know, term premiums back as well. So there's yes. risk st further up the curve. Yes, definitely, and definitely, we we do believe that near term there might still be some upside increase in like ten year treasuries, okay. but it's probably limited. And given this uh, current attractive yields, definitely, like you say, lock in those attractive yields and a switch potential from other risky assets to these attractive yields given the current valuation. So you, your expectation is maybe a little bit upside on yields, but the, six, six months down the road, can we assume that yields will be lower than current levels? Yes, we believe so. Uh, does that engender an uh, equity market rally? Growth stocks, for example, which tend, yes. to, tend to react quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, quite nicely, especially with higher valuation. So growth stocks, mm. and especially if we see more breakthroughs in like AI, so U.S. equities and growth stocks like tax stocks will probably have more upside too. Okay, uh, how are you looking at equity markets as part of the world right now? G given that, and if, if that is accurate, of course, the six-month, Yields come down. How does how do Asian equity markets look like? Asian equities, we believe there are still upside, possibly given like the weaker than expected performance year to date, mm. and then definitely those domestic growth story, especially in like Asia, India, and Japan, are the key uh, frequently asked questions from yeah. investors lately. Those will still have potential upside as well, mm. and Japan, those structural story remains still intact. So I guess the China story remains in the back seat. Then I mean, if that if those sector leaders can, or country leaders can. Continue. Where is China in this conversation over the next? China year? lately, investors are still a bit more cautious. Okay. Um, definitely, we see that PMI numbers lately as actually showing signs of stabilization. Hmm. And then, actually, over the uh, uh, last week with the holiday season, actually numbers are not bad with the tourist spending and also number of tourists. Uh, visiting abroad, those are actually decent numbers. And then uh, visitation numbers are decent as well. Hmm. But property sales are still a bit sluggish. So we're still waiting on that front and waiting for to see more um, policy. We see a mini pause over the past two weeks or so, but then we might still see piecemeal um, stimulus measures uh, since mid-August to resume again. Probably more on the fiscal side. Okay. Monetary side, given the, all the movements lately globally, we believe that might be taking a pause, but more on the fiscal side. For example, on local bond uh, issuance and also more on more detailed concrete actions, probably on like consumer voucher or consumer mm. stimulus plans. I forgot to ask you this at the very top, but final question then. if. If you were to move into government bonds, if you were to buy this dip, ex-China, of course, because yields have been low anyway, what happens to one of your calls this year, which is, you know, go into credit, investment grade? So they still remain intact, especially okay. investment grade, and investment grade probably over high yield, because high yield F, growth momentum, which will likely weaken mm. over next year or so, given like high yield and potentially tightening lending condition, that means high yield, uh, uh, high yield and maybe increase in default rates. So investment grade bond is the, is the better place to see. Marcel,